How's it going everyone? Ben here and today we're going to be going over some of the most common changes while you are on testosterone. Now when a trans person undergoes hormone replacement therapy and takes tr testosterone, there's a variety of skin changes that we really need to be aware of and need to know how to address. And that's why I'm making this video. And of course, the most common one is acne and I'll get to that first. But there is also a lot of other ones that I do want to recognize and bring to your attention. Within your first month of actually taking testosterone, you're going to notice a bit of acne growth. And this acne growth can be similar to what you had when you had your first puberty, but I wouldn't rule out any other instances or changes of your acne pattern. Actually, I had a very different reaction to my acne pattern with testosterone because when I was younger and I first had puberty, my acne was all over my face and it made me really subconscious. So I was really scared to go on testosterone for that reason because I had really good skin up until that point and I was worried that I was gonna go back to the skin that I had in my pre-puberty days. However, my acne pattern was very, very different. My acne was all over my back. So although that still isn't very desirable, I was kind of happy that I had didn't have the same acne pattern that I did when I was a kid and that having it in my bag made it less visible to the general public. However, with intimate partners, it's not the same, you know, effect. I've gone on social media and have read multiple accounts of people who've had acne in the past who didn't get acne their second time on T, but then completely different instances where people who had no acne in their pre-puberty days but had a ton of acne after they started T. So the way your skin reacts to T may be very different from when you were pre-puberty because estrogen and testosterone are very different systems and hormones that change different parts of your body physiology. We'll also say that the silver lining to this is that the acne doesn't honestly last that long. It's usually the worst in the first year, which you have to kind of get through, but that acne does start to wane similar to puberty, your first puberty, and uh, eventually after the one year mark, it'll start dying down. I barely have any acne now. I mean, if you're looking at my face, there's literally no acne and my back has reduced significantly. So I don't have that cystic painful acne on my back that I had in my first year of testosterone. The next really big thing I want to focus on is the fact that testosterone increases the collagen production of your skin that you need to be aware of, such as increased skin thickness. So your skin is going to be thicker, it's going to be less thin than when you are a predominantly estrogen dominated system. So your hands are going to be rougher, which means the prior skin treatments that you were using before might not actually correlate well with you, with skin treatments that you have to do now. I definitely have to moisturize my hands a lot more than I used to. And to keep from having sandpaper hands, I definitely get uh, the this lotion called O'Keefe's Working Hands or Lubriderm. That works really well. Before, all I had to do was use some generic lotion like Nivea. But now I have to use a more specialized lotion for rougher hands. One benefit to having this increased collagen deposition is the fact that you will tend to look younger the more you age because excess collagen decreases the appearance of wrinkles. That's a super big plus for testosterone. Uh, I do still use a collagen serum just because I like the... Uh, I like how I feel when I put on collagen and it does reduce some of my wrinkles, but that's uh, that's a really big plus point I wanna point out. The increased thickness in addition to some other biomechanical reasons might increase pigmentation of your skin, especially if you're a person of color like me. I've noticed that I've gotten a couple of shades darker in my skin tone after I started taking testosterone. I was much lighter skin before, and I'm a little bit more darker skin. It's not a huge dramatic effect, but it is something that my family members, my partner, and a lot of people have recognized when I started taking tea. And lastly, I really, really want to tell you a personal experience that I had is that a lot of my moles that I was born with, specifically my nose mole, kind of changed shape and color a little bit, which worried me a lot. So I eventually, after a year, when I noticed there, like, like my mole had gotten like three times as big as it was before and that the borders around it was getting a little bit irregular. It's still a circle, but it was getting a little irregular. I decided to go to a dermatologist for cancer screening just because I wanted to be safe and make sure that my mole had become cancerous. And luckily, when I went to my dermatologist, 
she said that she isn't worried about it because it is a mole that I am born with. So if you have moles already and you're on testosterone, some of those moles may change in texture, shape, size, or color, but not to be that afraid. If you are afraid, please go to a dermatologist and have that checked out. But my dermatologist assured me if you are born with that mole or if, or if you've had that same mole for years and it changes, a little bit on testosterone, that's nothing to worry about. What you do need to worry about is new moles that look weird, that looked irregular, that look different, and has weird colors. If you have a new mole like that, you should absolutely go see a dermatologist because that's a really big red flag for melanoma, which is a type of skin cancer of moles. However, I have read hundreds of papers on testosterone replacement therapy and have gone to conferences and looked at other research articles. There is, and there is almost no correlation to increased risk of melanoma to taking tea. Actually, melanoma is more of a genetic slash sun exposure causing cancer. So uh, do not be afraid. Um, that is definitely a big scare that I had and I was worried for months until I saw my dermatologist and she assured me it's nothing to worry about. I am having a six month follow up to just monitor my moles. So I'll keep you guys up to date on what that is, but I'm not worried at all anymore. And yeah, that's a, that's a really important thing that I think anybody should know because uh, I don't think a lot of mole changes are recorded in YouTube uh, when someone is taking testosterone. That's it for all the stuff that I want to talk about today. And if you notice that my white balance has changed a little bit, I just finally figured out on how to set my white balance so I don't look all yellow anymore. So yay for the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, share this video, follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life, and I'll see you on the next one. I hope you found this video helpful, and I love you all. This is Ben.